Hi to all, welcome to my first class on the chapter 9 class A Algebraic Expressions and Identities. In this class, I am giving you the introduction of algebraic expressions, terms, factors and coefficients, monomial, binomial, trinomial and polynomials. I went to a shop and purchased three stars and I given 5 rupees for the charity box kept in that shop. Now, the amount of one star be x. So, one star's value is x. So, three stars, how much it cost? Yes, it is x plus x plus x, that is 3x. And 5 more rupees I put in the charity box kept in the shop. So, how much amount in total I have given to the shopkeeper? That can be represented as 3x plus 5. This 3x plus 5, we can call it as an expression. That is, expressions are formed from variables and constants. Now let us take 3s plus 5. 3s plus 5 is formed from 3x and 5. This 3x and 5 we can call it as terms. Therefore, the terms are 3x and 5. Now, the variable used in this expression is x. Here, 5 we can call it as constants. Now, in 3x, 3 is the numerical factor of 3x. This numerical factor we can call it as coefficient. Let me consider another example, 7xy minus 9x plus 2. How many terms are here? Yes, here we have 3 terms and the terms are 7xy minus 9x and 2. Now, what is the coefficient of 7xy? S. Coefficient of 7xy is equal to 7. Then can you say what is the coefficient of minus 9x? S. It is minus 9. And what 2 is called? 2 is called the constant. Now, what are the variables used in this expression? Variables are x and y. Here is your x is 9.1. Identify the terms, the coefficient for each of the following expressions. Let us see the first question. 5xyz square minus 3zy. What are the variables used in that? S, x, y and z. Now, let us find out the terms and their coefficients. Let us make a table. Expressions, terms and coefficients. The first question is 5xyz square minus 3zy. Now, tell me what are the terms here? Yes, the terms are 5xyz square and minus 3zy. Now, write the coefficient of each term. Yes, they are 5 and negative 3. Like this, do complete all the questions. Here are your answers. Do verify yourself. Let us consider the first example 3x plus 5. Now, if one star cost rupees 50, what is the value of 3x plus 5? That is 3 into 50 plus 5. That is 150 plus 5, 155. If the cost of the star is 100, then what will be the value of 3s plus 5? Then it is 3 into 100 plus 5. That is 300 plus 5, 305. That means when the value of the variable changes, the value of the expression also changes. Now let us represent 3s plus 5 on a number line. Let x denote the value of x in the 
number line. Now, how will you represent 3x? This represent 3x. Now, plus 5. That means you have to take 5 division more. Let the point B represents 3x. Then from 3x to 5 units. That is C. So, C represents the length 3x plus 5. If it is 3x minus 5, you have to take 5 division backward direction. Can you do this question? Show on the number line x minus 1, 2x plus 1, 3x minus 2. Here x, x minus 4, you can take x with any measurement and give 4 unit backwards. That represents x minus 4. The point A represents x minus 4. Similarly, do 2s plus 1, 3s minus 2. Here, you have some algebraic expressions given. Look at the first expression. 5x square y cube set. Tell me how many terms are there. Here, this can be considered as one term. And coefficient of this term is 5 and variables are x, y and z. Now look at the second one. How many terms are there? Here you have two terms. Next, yes, three terms. Here, one. And 7a minus 2b, two terms. a plus b minus c, three terms. 7a square minus 5ab plus 2b cube minus 7, four terms. Now, if an expression contains only one term, it is called monomial. Now, what are the monomials here? Yes, you have... 5x square y cube set and x are monomials. Now, if you have two terms in an expression, that we can call it as binomial. Then can you say what are the binomials here? Yes, 2s minus 4 is a binomial. Yes, 7a minus 2b is again a binomial. Now, if three terms are there, it is called trinomial. Now, what are the trinomials here? 3x plus 5, y raised to 4 minus 10. And a plus b minus c. Now, the terms which are more than 3 or in common, all this expression we can call it as polynomial. Here, all these terms we can call it as polynomials and this not monomial, binomial and trinomial. So, we can write expressions that contain only 1, 2 and 3 terms are called monomials, binomials and trinomials respectively. In general, any expression containing one or more terms with non-zero coefficients and with variables having non-negative exponents is called a polynomial. Polynomial in detail we will study in higher classes. Here is a question for you. Classify the following polynomials as monomial, binomial and trinomial. Which polynomial do not fit in any of these three categories? Here is your answers. Do verify yourself. That's all for today's class. Have a nice day.